What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. In this video, I walk you through replacing the front strut on a 2005 Saturn View. I will go step by step with some helpful tips. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe for more how-to and review videos. Now let's get started. First, it's required that you do the left strut and the right strut. Both struts, not just one. Here are the required tools. A 21mm socket an 18 millimeter socket, an 18 millimeter box wrench, ratcheting if you have it, a 13 millimeter socket, a 12 millimeter socket, which you may or may not need. It was not required for the original strut, but it was for the replacement strut, a six millimeter hex, a hammer, a socket wrench with some length because you'll need to break some nuts loose, and I recommend penetrating oil. First, chalk the opposite wheel. I'm doing this wheel, the front right, so I'll be chalking the rear left. Remove the plastic lug nut covers if you have them, then break the lug nuts loose. Jack up the vehicle and support it with a jack stand. Next, remove the lug nuts and remove the wheel. We will need to remove seven bolts, two lower strut mounting bolts. These bolts need to be removed. This bolt, which holds the bracket for the brake line. This nut, which connects the sway bar link to the strut. And these three upper strut connections, two nuts and one bolt. It is recommended to spray them all down with penetrating oil. Apply it to the threaded connection on all of the bolts. For my experience, especially this brake line bracket mounting bolt. Now let's remove some bolts. First, use a 13 millimeter socket to remove the brake line mounting bracket bolt. If you have ABS, I believe this bracket will also support the wheel speed sensor wires. Let's get these sensitive items disconnected and moved out of the way. For me, the bolt had sheared off on both the right and left struts. I will deal with that later at installation. I got started with the two lower mounting bolts because they require some hammering to remove them, which is best to do with the top mounting bolts and the sway bar link secure to provide rigidity. Use a 21 millimeter socket to loosen the nuts. Loosen the nuts until they protrude just past the end of the bolt. This way, when we hammer them, the impact will be on the nut and not contact and deform the end of the bolt. Then hammer out the bolts until the nuts bottom out. The head of the bolts have splines that are interference fit into the hole. They will not come out freely and must be hammered out. And remove the nuts. Let's move on to the sway bar link connection. First, break it loose with an 18 millimeter socket. Taking a close look, there is a threaded stud with a nut on it. Install an 18 millimeter wrench onto the nut. I'm using a ratcheting wrench to speed things up, but it is not required. It can be done with a box wrench, but will take a lot longer. When the nut is rotated, the threaded stud rotates with it. The stud must be held stationary to remove the nut. The stud has accommodations for a six millimeter hex or Allen wrench in the center. Install a 6mm hex in the center of the stud to hold it stationary and remove the nut. Now the sway bar link can be removed and pushed aside. Next, finish removing the two lower mounting bolts. Be sure to support the steering knuckle from below so the CV shaft does not pull out. Knock the bolts the rest of the way out and remove them from the strut. Last is the top three connections, two nuts and one bolt. These are all 13 millimeter. Note that if you remove the weather stripping, there is a notch to allow easy tool access to the back nut. This is true for both the passenger and driver side. When removing the nuts and bolt, leave one nut in place. This is the only thing holding the strut up. 
As you loosen the nut, the strut will lower down. Go below and get a secure hold on the strut. Then finish removing the nut to release it. And here's the replacement strut. Let's install it in reverse order. But first I'm going to install a replacement sway bar link. Now's the time while everything's exposed. The bottom connection is the same as the top. The stud with the nut. Looking good. The existing link had torn boots on both ends. It needed to be replaced. First, get the new strut into position. Then, go up to the top. Lift it up and align the studs into the holes. And get the nut started to hold it in place. Next, get the steering knuckle aligned and slide the bolts through to hold everything in place. Then tighten down the top bolts. On this new strut, the bolt was a 12mm, but the original was a 13 So you might need a 12mm or a 13mm. Now reconnect the sway bar link using a 6mm hex to hold the stud stationary and an 18mm box wrench to rotate the nut. Now let's finish the lower mounting bolts. Recall that the hole is undersized for an interference fit and the bolt head has splines that need to be pressed in. Don't waste your time with a hammer. They'll be pulled in when you tighten the nuts. And last is the brake line mounting bracket. This is also a smooth bore mounting hole and the screw cuts its own threads as you install it. Recall that the head sheared off of the screw on both the right and the left strut. Looking through my bin of extra bolts, I found an exact match. Good to go. But you could use a bolt with a nylon locking nut. Get the screw started in line with the hole. Then drive it in, cutting new threads. Reinstall the wheel and torque the lug nuts. And don't forget to remove the wheel chocks. And that covers it. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Drop any comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.